So you need to purchase some fabric capacity. Okay, your trial's about to end. Maybe you want to schedule it to be turned off and on, sort of at the start of the day, the end of the day. Um, how do you do that? How do you purchase capacity? How can you schedule it to be turned off and on? I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. This video is definitely one you need to check the description. Okay, this is not my area of expertise. I'm out of my comfort zone, but I'm learning as we go. I'm sharing with you where I'm at with this, okay? I will put updates. If anybody sees me doing anything crazy, please leave some comments and I'll add those to the description. Okay, first of all, to buy fabric, you need to have access to the Azure portal. Okay, whether you're buying a subscription or you're buying um, the monthly version, let's have a look at the pricing here. Okay, so the smallest capacity you can buy is the F2 capacity, which is US dollars, 156 bucks, if you have an annual commitment, 156 US dollars a month. Okay, but if you've got the ability to, to, to turn it off and turn it on whenever you need it, or even schedule that to happen, you can pay this much, pay as you go. This is the subscription method, this is the reservation method, okay? I'm gonna show you how you can sign up for this and how you can turn it off and on, on a schedule in two ways. One, using Power Automate, two, using Logic Apps, okay? Different pricing, different scenarios. Okay, I'll show you both, but very similar techniques, virtually identical, to be honest. All right, so where do you start? Well, you've gotta log in to the Azure portal, okay? Portal.azure.com, all right? And I would recommend you set up a, a group, uh, sorry, like a, um, a resource group, which essentially is like a folder for keeping all things nicely organized. Okay, so I'm gonna go resource group. And I've already created one here called the fabric group. But let me, let me just show you very quickly. So resource group, create. Okay, this probably is an admin, you know, for those of you who followed my Power BI and Excel stuff, this is probably more of an admin thing, but you might be trying that out for yourself. If you are trying out for yourself, okay, if your trial's up or you just want to use the trial, okay, you get 60 day free trial, I'll put a link in the description for how you can get your own Power BI slash fabric trial. Okay, I've done a blog post on it. There's three methods. Um, check out the link. I'll put it against one of these subscriptions and I'll call it my uh, YT for YouTube demo group, okay? And pick a region, again, somebody in the chat might have a good idea here. I'm gonna go Asia East. So sort of, I'm not sure what the significance is of the one you pick. Um, and essentially that's it, review and create. Okay. So we can then go to the resource group and here's my YouTube demo group. Think of it like a folder for storing stuff in. Okay, it's not doing anything fancy. You can give permissions as well to access all the things in that folder. So it's a nice organizational piece. Okay, so I'm now in my resource group and I now wanna sign up for Fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna go create and I can search for Fabric. Microsoft Fabric, that'll do. Thank you, the AI. Here we go and create Microsoft Fabric. Now, if you want to do the, um, the reservation pricing, actually in the search up here, do the search for reservation, and it's a slightly different screens, but you get the idea, okay? Right, here we go, resource group, lovely. Let's put it in that resource group. Uh, enter the capacity name, I'll call it uh, YouTube F2 pay as you go. All right, you can pick a region, probably the same capacity must contain, oh, lowercase, of course it is. So no capital letters, which is a bit annoying. All right. You can pick a different region. I'm assuming you should probably pick the same region as your Power BI region, but I'm not sure. Okay, again, leave a note in the comments. Capacity units, I do not want to be paying for F64. Um, maybe you do. Okay, so again, all these features, what's in them, I mentioned it in my What is Fabric video. Go check that out. I'm going to go for the smallest one here, the F2, and select. Okay, Fabric Administrator. Okay, just your email address and stuff like that. And you can add other 
administrators' capacity administrators later. They're allowed to assign capacity to different workspaces and things. So review and create. And create. OK. And it's saying deployment in process, progress, so we'll just wait for that. OK, I'm going to go to the resource. And here is my fabric capacity set up. And if I click on it, I can see that it's actually running because the pause button's available. All right, so check this out. I can now go into Power BI. And there may be a timing thing here, so bear with me. I go to my workspace settings. I go to uh, ooh, license info nowadays. That's not what that was called before. Um, edit. Wow, that screen's changed in the last half an hour. <laughs> so normally it just jumps straight to this screen. So now I've got that purchase capacity, I can enable this fabric capacity rather than the trial and change this to the YouTube Asia one, okay? And select a license. And then this workspace is being backed by that capacity. You can have multiple capacities, okay? Because somebody could use up all the usage from one capacity and impact other people. So maybe you want a dedicated team with certain capacity and some other team is just trying some stuff out. So you want to give them a different capacity. You can, you can do that, okay? You can also go and into the um, settings for admin portal. And if you go to the filter by keyword and search for fabric, it's probably the easiest way of doing this stuff. Okay. You can go and set a few different things. Users can create fabric items. Okay. Allow them to do that. You can go down to help and support, turn off the allow people to try fabric potentially. All right. But then under capacity settings as well, you can go in here. And you can see the different capacities that you're paying for if you're the admin. So there we go, fabric capacity. Here's the one I'm working with, it's active. And if you click on it, you can go into it and you can do more stuff, all right? Usage reports, um, contributors, admin permissions, all this sort of stuff, okay? Workspaces assigned to capacities. You can go and look for workspaces and just add them here. You can search for them. I'm not gonna go into the details. All right, so that's the concept. So it's on, it's running, I'm paying for it by the minute, okay? So what if I want to stop it and start it? Right, back into um, Azure Portal. So I'm going to do two methods. The Azure um, Logic Apps, so you need access to, to do that, or Power Automate, which you probably have got more chance of having access if you haven't got access to the Azure Portal. So I'll do it two ways. Essentially, they look identical. The process is the same, okay? It's almost like Logic Apps is a bit of a fancier version of Power Automate. Right, so here we go. If I go back here to home and I go to Logic Apps. Okay, here's Logic Apps. I'll start building one, but then I'll show you the one I built. So add, you've got to assign it to one of your resource groups because it does cost money. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, YouTube demo group, Logic App name, uh, YouTube start stop, put it in a region. I'm going to try and stick to the same region, Australia, Southeast or whatever, probably picked a different one. Consumption, right? That's the one you probably want. Again, I am not an expert in this area, but best for entry level, pay as much as your workflow runs, okay? That's pretty much what I'm after. All right, so review and create. And create. So how much does a Logic App cost? Well, let me go to this page while that's happening. Okay, back here, consumption plan, and I'll put links in the description below. First 4,000 actions are free, and then that much in US dollars per action. And I'm not sure about the connector. I guess that's when you call a, a, a connector. That's the actions, the steps, I'm assuming. But it's not a lot, right? You can probably run this start, stop, every day for two years before you hit anything like a dollar, two dollars. Okay, so it's probably not, not a big cost whatsoever. 
All right, let's see if this is ready. Um, okay, looks good. Go to resource. Right, YouTube start stop. Okay, Logic App Designer. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to add a trigger. So here we go. And the trigger I want is just a schedule. Now you've, you can do all sorts of triggers, but I just want it to start stop at a certain time of day. Uh, recurrence, there we go. And I want it every day. Uh, actually, I don't want it on weekends. So I'm going to go for a week. And I'm going to pick a time zone, UTC plus 8, which is Perth. All right, so this handles all that time zone nonsense. Start time, I'm just going to just pick a, you know, today's date, yesterday's date. I just pasted that in. Just anything, but it's got to be in that sort of weird format. Don't know why. All right, and on these days, okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, don't want to be running it on the weekend. And then I want to start it at 7 a.m., okay, and zero minutes. And then I'll just say down here, runs at 7 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That might be your start, okay, that might be your start action. I'm going to be a little bit fancier and do a start stop in the same flow in the same um, logic app but you could just do a start logic app and a stop logic app and run them on a schedule differently okay but I'm, I'm going to show you this a little sort of fancier approach if you like so let me go back to the one I created right so here's my setup I've got Monday Tuesday Wednesday I've got start at 7 and 5 p.m on the on the hour that's when I want my app to check so the logic is going to be, it's going to say, hey, go and get the status, all right? So this, this is the first bit, okay? So what is this one? It's read a resource. So let's just go add, how did I get that? Okay, read a resource. Azure Resource Manager, that's the key, okay? Read a resource, okay? That's the one you're looking for. This is... Um, a premium connector if you're doing this in um, Power Automate as well. So just be aware of that. I'll flag that in a second. So there we go. All right, so we got reader resource. So once you add that, you then got to pick your subscription. You got to pick your resource group. These were the, this wasn't the one I set up, the YouTube one. This is one I've set up earlier. Okay. Um, resource provider is Microsoft Fabric. You got to search for that. Okay, it's a drop down box. This bit. You've got to type capacities slash and then the name of your um, your fabric capacity. Okay. And then this API version, it's it is that. And my friend Gilbert found me a link um, because I did not know how they got this when they did their blogs. So it is documented, but it's impossible to find. I'll put a link that Gilbert kindly shared with me in the in the show notes. Um, if you're not sure who Gilbert is, check out the 4moo.com website. Very good. Okay, so that's the process. It goes and gets whether the capacity is running or not. Okay, because if it's running, I want to stop it, i.e. at 5 o'clock. If it's not running, i.e. at 7 a.m., I want to start it. Okay, that's, that's the logic. So I can build it in one. So then you can add like a condition. Okay, so you can add condition in here. F2 is currently paused. Um, and it's this little bit is a bit magic. Okay, let me just zoom in here. This is the bit you need to add. All right, so how do you how do you do that? Well, if I if I delete that and I click FX. Okay, so this is what you need. All right, this bit. This is the name of the previous step, if you like. Okay, Check this out, read AR, I'll just add it and I'll show you. Okay, so that's the text. I'll put that in the in the chat in the description below. Okay, click add. Okay. That's this read a resource F. That's this name up here. You can edit this, so my name will be different to the one you create. So it's that name that you want to put in that box. All right. So this is it, right? So what it says is if it's paused, we've put the word paused in there, if the current state is paused go down this true path and start the resource. Otherwise, if it's running, go down the path and suspend the resource. 
Okay, they're pretty much identical steps. Again, subscription, fabric group, Microsoft.fabric, capacities is slash the name of the capacity, the API version, and resume. Right, that's the key, it's got to say resume. And then the only difference with the other one, you can actually, okay, you can actually do this, copy, and then when you add an action, you can go plus, and then it'll add you, allow you to paste it, okay? So in this one, it's suspend. Otherwise, it's all the same. And then you just start it running, and it'll pause and resume your capacity. Pretty cool, okay? Right, so what about Power Automate? Well, Power Automate, same idea. You can do recurrence, invoke a resource, operation, start, stop. You can do all the same sort of stuff, all right? Um, with Power Automate, it is 15 US dollars per month because you are using a premium connector, okay? So with the Power Automate one, Okay, if I go back in here, you'd go create a scheduled cloud flow, call it something like YouTube uh, F2, starting on a certain day at 5, 8, 7 a.m., say, repeat every week, okay, except for Sunday and Saturday. And potentially you can add another, you can, you can skip this and do it from start. So create, and again, off you go. You can actually edit this as well in here. You could tweak this on the side. You can do what we did, you know, we can change the hours in here. You can go and add and get that um, resource, okay. And you can go see more and so on. All right, same, same process. Now, weirdly, I have got something called view my licenses power automate P2 viral. Now, I have no idea what that is, but it means I've currently got premium connectors. I've done some looking up, I, I have no idea. Okay, but I'm, I've currently got that, so I don't have to pay the 15 US dollars a month, but at some point, I'm sure I will because that. Probably trial will, will end, but it just runs, okay? It updates your report. Sorry, it turns on your capacity off and on. So there's a lot of ground covered there, okay? Um, I'll stop there. I'll add another video in the future talking about some other features. I'd like to get your feedback. What did I miss? Um, I'll probably think of something as soon as I stop recording. Let me know please check out the description. I will update it and I will do an updated video if and when I come up with, you know, better ways of doing this or other concepts or discover that there's cheaper ways or alternatives. I'm keen to learn. This is as much as I know right now. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video.